Y'all probably say, where exactly are you going with this? I see you really trying to take it there. Old school flow, chew you out. Ain't fair, Jordan Pairs. Yeah, what up? It's your boy Zod. Anyways, man, this video right here, you know, when it comes to me talking about other people's business, I don't really like to go there. You know what I mean? This is YouTube, so, you know, basically a video is a video, you know what I mean? But this one right here, like, it, I don't like doing gossip as far as like, but this ain't gossip. Bimo, 600 block, you know what I mean? A lot of people from that that deal with that drill music know the dude out of Chicago. But this dude right here, the reason I chose to put the video out is because there's a lot of drama surrounding this guy in the video. Now, I need you guys to tell me what you think. You know what I mean? Do you think that he's a snitch or you just think that he was just, you know, uh, that it's an unwritten law, you know what I mean, amongst his group, you know what I mean, that you, you take what you take, you know what I mean? Uh, anyways, man, I'm going to go ahead and play it. He know he's taking his weight. For one, that's snitching. I don't care what the situation that's snitching. But like I said, this is that has nothing to do with, you know, uh, West Coast. But it's just you know when you see things on the internet that kind of sound a little suspect. It's like you know, I don't have no problem outing people that really need to be outed. Like I said, that like it, I'll you know get my point at the end. We're going we going to run that one more time. Did you see him wear that? Was he wearing that black bag? Listen, man. Like the officer said, you know, I'm not even involved anymore. We're not trying. We're not trying to put, play you tired. Right, that's right. right. But I'm, I'm saying that. Like, that's what I'm saying. I don't have to say too much. This man, he has some force. This man, this is his way. This guy, that's his bag. That's why they stopped him stop being boy. That's his bag. I'm going to tell you, I seen another video after this. I thought it would be on here, but it's not. So the dude that sent me the clip, it's not the full one. But basically, this is where it all started. You know what I mean? As far as I know, they, they got pulled over. Uh, they found something. You know what I mean? I don't know if it was dope or if it was a gun. But he says, a, he says you know, and he says a gun. So, you know, but it's just... It, it, yeah, anyway, let's go. It's no need for me to run it back. Basically, you already know what time it is. For anybody that's really watching this video, you know that's considered snitching. But of course, this guy says it's not, and that in a, in another video he says something. Sorry, I'll go and mess with the nose. But in another video he said that's not considered snitching. Like you gotta be a goofy to take somebody's case. You know what I mean? Understand this. A lot of situations have you know happened like that. I've took a couple of things that I had nothing to do with, but. At the end of the day, it's just the way it is. It wasn't on this level as far as, like, in the car with somebody and there's a gun found, you know. But even in situations like that, if I was in the car with a homie and his gun was right there, you know, it, it I'm going to, I had to do what I got to do. But guarantee when we hit the tank, I'm going to smash him, you know what I mean? And either either he going to, you know, fess up uh, uh, or he going to have to PC up because he'll never get a, a another good night's sleep until he actually take what's his, you know what I mean? It's it's different in a situation where it's like a a shooting and, you know, they got two people. They, we just got to ride it out, you know what I mean, and, until we beat it, you know what I mean? But there's no pointing fingers at the other individual. 
that trust me I my case was like that too you know what I mean ain't no pointy fingers at nobody you just gotta ride your case now I don't know if that's the way of thinking in certain parts of shy which I doubt it because every dude that I've been with that that originally was out of out of shy town they don't think like that you know what I mean so you know I get it he's upset at the fact that his homeboy Mimo 600 uh didn't originally take the charge I don't, I still don't know if he took it but you know, I mean, it's it it's one thing, you know, to be frustrated and want to smash on the fool for doing some grimy stuff, but to say that's his gun, that's his bag, he know he's gonna ride it. Even if you try to justify it, that's just straight snitching. Now, like I said, there's a whole video on this dude talking, and the reason I chose to put this video out is because it's one of those that kind of make you think, like, why? What is the mindset of half the cats nowadays? Like, you you got a lot of fools that defy. Uh, their older homies and feel like the older homies be telling them and the you know wrong shit and to be honest there's a lot of individuals that are you know older homies that are older that i won't even say a lot but there's you know a few select individuals that uh play a lot of mind games and they let their homies down the wrong way and you know so they deserve what they got but then you got stand-up dudes but the uh, you know some of these youngsters won't even listen to that because they feel uh it's better to be rebellious than to actually listen to reason and, and it's a prime example because if he got the right schooling, he would know that you just ride it. And, you know, and, and you know, I'm sure uh, if you got love on the street, your homie's going to deal with it anyway. You know, I, I've known dudes that, that, you know, have got busted for one of their homeboys and their homeboy go turn himself in and then be like, hey, it's mine, you know. Some cases don't happen, but that's that, that's what happens when you play the game. You can't. You know, expect for all your homeboys to be stand up. You gotta learn who 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 you be around. You know what I mean? But you know, uh, like I said, uh, money makes a lot of things move. So if you kicking it with a cat, you think you got money. He making certain moves. You want to make them certain moves. You tend to overlook a lot of things if you're not one of those cats that's really about, you know, uh, you know. So yeah, in this situation, like you know, I I'm just genuinely want to get everybody's point of view on it. Like what what I mean, cause I know there's cats on my on my channel that are from different spots. You know what I mean? East Coast, some from the West, Texas, like all that. Like, what is your thoughts on this individual right here? Do you think he's snitching, or do you thought that you know he he did what he should have? You know what I mean? And hopefully. It, it, it it's the latter. You know what I mean? I mean actually not the latter, but hopefully you think right and don't think that, you know, it's right to tell on your homeboys, regardless, you know what I mean, the situation. Inherit all beef, inherit all drama, inherit all whatever. If you hanging around a dude and something happened, it's just, it is what it is. But that's besides the point. Anyway, I'm your boy Zod. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your night. I'm going to go back to sipping on this Corona, and then I'm going to take my black ass to sleep. And on that note, you enjoy the rest of your night, and I'm out. Kneel before Zod! Y'all probably say, where exactly are you going with this? I see you really trying to take it there. Old school flow, chew you out. Ain't fair, Jordan Pears. Don't